All right. Let's take a look. Whoa. Cool. I like the root. I'm going to go in a layered fashion there. That's not too bad. My reaction to this is that I know the chest goes towards us and the arm goes away from us. <clears throat> but I wonder if during this section where the upper body really feels stiff, that's when the chest comes towards us. And during this section, you have a bit more involvement where the hand goes back, the arm goes back, the shoulder goes back, which takes the chest back with it. And then you start to counter if that's at all possible. And then speaking of which, I'm going to go back there again. Um, see, through moments like here, I think I'm probably flatten the palm so it's flatter to camera. <clears throat> and especially, mainly because it's it looks like it's IK. I see a lot of arm movement and elbow movement, but the wrist is kind of locked. The fingers feel kind of locked. They don't really feel like they are on something. It's like the middle part of the palm is pushing the door and the rest of the fingers are not really reacting. And then through here, it just, again, it's the same thing, it feels a bit too IK. You see all that elbow movement there and then the wrist is kind of stuck. It's better here, just on the push. Well, it happens after this, but and I think you had it where you want to push out the fingers a bit more to get some compression in the fingers. <clears throat> Look is cool. I think it's a tiny subtle thing, <clears throat> but the head turn through here, all the way back there, seems a bit even in timing. And you know, and you could potentially just give it some texture where he starts through here and maybe through that has like a two frame, three frame slowdown, like really just subtle. And then that way, that part is just that bit accelerated. I'm really talking subtle stuff. Not even like a crazy pause. It just feels a bit mechanic. It goes back and then comes back here. <coughs> Excuse me. Get a little bit more texture in that. The other hand is cool. I like all that. Feet are cool, what you could put in when he goes over through here. This might just be me, let me see here. I don't know, I see a foot roll, but through this section here, uh, don't forget to put a little bit of compression, so there's a little bit of a rotation, twist, tilt somewhere there, tilt, and tilting off that side, pivoting. <clears throat> just to get some polish in there, same thing on the other foot as I go through here, that's a big change, so you want the same thing where you have a slight rotation twisting over, tilting over this way. That just feels all a bit stiff. And like here, when, it, when the translate starts first, you could almost have two, three frames earlier a rotation in Y. And then the foot comes over. And the same thing here, as you end maybe the last couple frames too, so <clears throat> our slight rotation. So it doesn't feel like it's a very clean translate on off type of thing. Yeah, I think that would be it. There. Yeah, so picky, picky, picky things. We're getting into polish because it's awesome. Uh, as always, any questions, let me know. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.